So yes guys, hello and welcome back to the Adam Templeton Triathlete YouTube channel. You join me today, Saturday, the day before the race. Currently just about to go on the bike. Unfortunately, I'm having to wait for the shifter on my bike to update. But yeah, once that's done, we can then get going. But yeah, the clip of me taking off my overshoes there. Nope, it wasn't in reverse. Unfortunately, the bike did not update. So yeah, even though it's glorious outside, as you can see, we're back on Zwift, just like usual. So yeah, session today is an hour 15, easy, for the majority of it. However, we've got five times 10 second sprints thrown in just to get the legs turning over some openers for tomorrow's race day and then we've got a quick run again super easy just off the back of that shake out the legs and be as ready as we can for tomorrow okay here we go focus speed I am speed And there we go, five or five sprints done. Quick cool down, then we're out for a short run. Some solid numbers on the bike there for the openers. Now a quick 30 minute easy run, shake the legs out, and that'll be the training done. With regards to this one, my last session I was in the pool last night just some short sharp builds and the catch in the water was good the pace felt good so yeah on that front I feel ready the heats for the race were also allocated last night so there's six heats for the aquathon I'm in heat four so starting quite a bit later than what I thought it was going to be the first heat was off around half 10 and then my heat is at 11.50 so yeah, more like a midday race start last few bits of preparation still to be done need to get the elastic laces looked out and also get the tri suit looked out for the first time this year Super easy run complete, nice low heart rate, but I know it's not a fatigued heart rate as it did respond well to the sprint openers earlier on the bike. Now it's time to get the last bit of recovery in and get ready for race day. Buongiorno, I am Dira Swift Cat.
Remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel for luck in your next Swift race. Ciao ciao. And we've made it to the race start. Transition's been set up, got my race belt set out. Trainers decided to go for laceless just to make sure I can get them on as fast as possible. And yeah, doing a quick recon of the run route just now. Made it to the top of the first hill about one kilometre in. And yeah, the first part seems pretty flat. No major sharp hills, so that's good. And yeah, just see what the downhill looks like just now. Race nerves are now starting to build. We're just about five past 11, so half an hour till I'm at the poolside and about 45 minutes till the race start. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Okay, let's go. And race done, currently sitting top of the leaderboard. Swim was my best swim by a mile. I'll put the times up on the screen somewhere and go through it later on. And then run, caught the first people in the, the first 500 meters pretty much by the middle of the second lap, or the start of the second lap was in the lead. And then now, yeah, it's just a wait to see if we win the overall. Just waiting on the last people coming in. They are running pretty fast, but I think a podium could still be on the cards here. Two hours later. And there we have it, race day now complete. So looking at my overall times, I'm actually really pleased with how I went. So in the pool, in the swim, my watch recorded 12.26. Um, then I had the next wee bit to transition to where I crossed the mat, it was 12.38 that I got. Then in transition one, I was actually happy with my time as well. Managed to get in and out in under 45 seconds, so that was good. And then looking at the run, managed to get the fastest run split of the day, so 16.37. Was meant to be a 5k, it was probably like 200 meters short. So I'd say for a 5k, it's around 17, what is that, 1720, sub, sub 1720. So again, reasonably happy with that pace. The speed of transition was definitely helped by going for the laceless alpha flies. Um, if it was any longer than 5k, I probably, it probably wouldn't have been good. Uh, the elastic laces would have helped, but yeah, for the 5k, just to get in and out as fast as possible. It was definitely worth it. Um, there was a hill in the middle that you had to do two laps of, so again, factoring that in, if it was a flat course sub-17, which is what I was expecting. And yeah, looking at my result overall, so of course it depends who's all there on the day. Today, all the big hitters turned out. Um, my time being just over 30 minutes, I ended up being seventh overall. The times of the swims of the guys at the top were just unbelievable. So they were swimming nine minutes for the 750 meters compared to my 12 minute 30. So yeah, a big, big difference. Um, of course, uh, if it was to be the same crowd that turned up last year, I would have won the race by 21 seconds. Um, but yeah, I, I can't be any more disappointed with, with how I performed in the event. Um, best swim by a mile. Uh, and then the run, I'd say, reflects the training at the moment as well. So that was really good. Um, also nice to get another race under the belt. And yeah, now it's just time to get the head down, get back into training. Next event on the cards is Loch Ness Attack. So another good few weeks till we get to that one. But really excited for that. Training's going well on the bike as well, uh, just now at the moment. And I hope your training's going well too. And I'll catch you in the next one.